Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, question mark, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, mm -hmm, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Recently, I hauled a bunch of the new galvanized items by Crafter Square that the Dollar Tree is carrying right now. And in that haul were these galvanized pie plates or bottle caps that I am obsessed with. When I saw them, I picked up four of them because I was inspired to do some DIYs using them. Today, I am bringing to you three not one, not two, but three quick and easy rustic farmhouse DIYs that you are absolutely going to love, I think, using these bottle caps slash pie plates. So I'm going to quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some farmhouse DIYs using these. You're not going to want to miss this. I think you're going to love them. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so for this first DIY, I'm going to start off by using three of these wood craft cubes by Crafter Square. You know where you can get them. I'm so going to do something new and different with these cubes. Yep. I'm going to stack them and to glue them together I am going to use this wood glue by super glue because I am telling you this glue is amazing. Do not use the crafter square wood glue because it's horrible. Aileen's is another great alternative if you can't get your hands on this. As if this isn't predictable right? Yep, I'm going to give these blocks a quick coat with some of Waverly's antique wax. What's great about my DIYs is they're very versatile pieces. You take what you like, you leave what you don't, and just by simply changing up the color, you can very easily make it to suit your decor style. And that is what's great about crafting and DIY, is you're putting your own spin and your own twist on these DIYs. I'm just bringing you the idea is all. You so know I'm not gonna leave these blocks just stained with the antique wax. Oh no, 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 no. That center block needs some twine, so I'm gonna use a bit of a thicker twine and I'm gonna wrap it several times around that center block. Perfect. Can I just tell you, I am obsessed with these flowers from Dollar Tree. That green is amazing. The white and the purple accent to the flower is beautiful. So farmhouse chic, I can hardly stand it. And I thought that this would be simple and perfect to add to the center of the wood blocks here in the twine. And to make it kind of seem like these flowers are tied with some string, I finished it off with a twine bow. I love it. And yes, to the top of these wood blocks, that's where this bottle cap slash what I'm going to call a pie plate is going to go. I am loving that Dollar Tree has these taller LED pillar candles. That's amazing. Typically they have ones that are about half this size. And so when I saw these taller ones, you know I picked up a few. And it's always good to see if they work because I have gotten home from time to time and pulled out that orange tab and found out that my candle didn't work. So this one works. It's going to go right on top of this bottle cap. But as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, self, this just looks too plain. There is something missing up there. So I decided to go ahead and fill it in with my leftover flowers from my flower bouquets. And I think that this is the perfect finishing touch. How quick and easy is this? And the outcome, I'm gonna say it's rustic farmhouse chic. Now, what do I have in store for you for the second DIY using these mm -hmm, galvanized bottle caps slash pie pans? Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying that. You're gonna need two of them. And to two of them, I'm going to give them a nice good thick coat using some white chalk paint. If you have Waverly's, you can use Waverly's. If you have Hello Hobby, use that. If you have Folk Art, use that. 
We're all gonna be using different chalk paint these days because we can't keep up with what Walmart is keeping in stock. Right now I'm using the Waverly, so again, I'm gonna give both of these a nice thick coat of this paint. Oh my word, can I just tell you, I am obsessed with these vinyl decals that Linda designed specifically for these bottle caps. They couldn't be any more farmhouse and any more perfect for these bottle caps. She came up with a farm fresh eggs and a farm fresh dairy. Guess what? These vinyl decals, mm -hmm, they're available for purchase in Linda's Etsy store. You can get it in digital download if you want, or you can have the vinyl decals cut and sent to you with free shipping. They are available in either the farm fresh eggs or the farm fresh dairy. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? In the description box below. Did I say how much I love these decals? Linda did an amazing job designing these. And again, these were designed specifically for these galvanized bottle caps from Dollar Tree. Originally, I was kind of feeling like I wanted to go the retro route and maybe do like a 50s bottle cap, the old soda bottles. But then I really was just more drawn to the farmhouse because you know me, rustic and farmhouse. And so when we came up with the idea of doing farm fresh dairy and farm fresh eggs, I don't think that I even conceived of how amazing these vinyl decals were gonna come out. And Linda, again, you did an amazing job on these. I love them. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it using a permanent vinyl. This is a premium vinyl from Michaels and I'm not gonna seal it. If you feel like you need to seal it, you can. I think it's gonna be fine because this is just gonna be above my cabinets and my kitchen. Using some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain. Can I just tell you this is the best stain color for distressing because it's gonna give it that nice rustic aged look like these bottle caps have been places. They've got a story to tell. And so using a softer paintbrush, I'm gonna go ahead and just use that to add some of this ink to it, kind of dirty it up a bit. Again, distressing is optional. If you like that white, clean, crisp look, then I say keep it. But you know me, I'm a creature of habit. Maybe I'm predictable, but I love that distressed look. I love that aged, dirty look like it was sitting in a garage somewhere and it had been there for years and now you're pulling it out because you see what a treasure it is. That's the look I'm going for. Let's just take a quick second here to compare distressed versus not distressed. Yeah, I am definitely a distressed girl. Alrighty, so I had some technical difficulty here. These bottle caps came with these twine hangers because there were holes in the bottle caps. Well, when I put the vinyl on the bottle caps, I wasn't keeping in mind that I needed to have the holes up at the top. I wasn't keeping an eye on where the holes were. And you can see that mm -hmm, the hole is off to the side here. And so I went ahead and just hot glued the twine onto the back and we're gonna ignore the holes. And I'm gonna do that with both of them. I like the look of it hot glued anyway, but it is what it is, no biggie. This third DIY using these bottle caps is so quick and easy and has an outcome. Can I say it again? That is so rustic farmhouse chic, I can hardly stand it. For this one, you're also gonna need some of this decorative nautical rope. Again, you know where you can find this, at Dollar Tree. We're gonna start on the back side of the bottle cap and I'm gonna hot glue the rope onto the back side, but we're gonna do it at a little less than the halfway mark of the bottle cap. Then I'm gonna take this rope and I am just gonna wrap the bottom half of this bottle cap with the rope, kind of closing it in, making a pocket of sorts. An easy way to achieve that rusted aged look on a galvanized piece such as this one is to use some of Waverly's antique wax and a sponge dabber. Believe it or not, it comes out really great because when that antique wax dries, it dries in that brown rusted look. And when you apply it with a sponge dabber, you get those spotted, I guess, textured look that you would get when something rusts. I know you can achieve it using vinegar and water, but this really is just a quick, easy way of doing it. And so because I wanted to add some rust to this piece, that's how I'm doing it. 
I'm gonna add it to the bottle cap itself and I'm gonna kind of dirty up that rope a bit. So with this, by adding some of Dollar Tree's floral foam, this was in my scraps, because you all know I keep my scraps of everything because look, they come in useful. Now I can add what's left of my flowers. Loving these, but I actually did pick up these purple ones as well, just to kind of add some contrast to the white and purple and green. I think that white, purple, and green with this galvanized tin and the rope, did I say? I think it's rustic farmhouse chic. Yep. So who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It goes to Tamara Thomas, who is bringing to us this recreation of this family wall decor piece. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Tamara, for sharing your creation with us today. Well, look at here. Kayla's doing more of that reverse glass art painting. Absolutely love this stuff. It is a really cool process. If you haven't seen it, you'll wanna head on over to her channel today and see just how cool this is. You can find the link to today's video. Mm -hmm. Guess where? You know where, in the description box below. Can I choose a favorite this time? I don't think I can, but those bottle caps with the farm fresh dairy and the farm fresh eggs, I'm obsessed with and I love these bottle caps. I don't have any left because I only picked up four, but boy oh boy am I inspired to make more DIYs using these. So I'm gonna keep my eye open for them at my local Dollar Tree, hoping that they get them back in. I hope you all enjoyed today's three farmhouse DIYs using the galvanized bottle caps. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes, please. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive. Please.